I'm very pleased to introduce the next speaker, which is Samantha from the Sean Justice for Sean Rigg campaign. So. Guys, I'm really pleased to see the amount of people that turned out. You know, they, what they like to say about us that come out and protest is that we're just up for it. We just, I don't know, we're looking for a bit of excitement. But I can see people that really, really care, that really care about these issues because the sad fact is that the end time is just living any one of us. It could have been our father, it could have been our brother, or it could have been our, our son or our uncle. Any one of us could have been in that situation and could have winded up dead. Okay, so every single person in this country needs to be at this demonstration because this affects all of us. I mean, I'm here today because my brother was killed at Brixton Police Station. Okay, yeah, we're still going through the investigation and waiting for the inquest. But a lot of the stuff that happened to my brother happened in the van, at the back of the police station, and we've been trying to prove it. We've had the IPCC coming up with their lies and their idiotic report, which is just so ludicrous. They just, they made a catalogue of errors, you know, willfully, we believe, in trying to investigate what happened to my brother. But we as a family had to become the investigators, just like the, um, the hedge fund manager that, filmed Ian Tomlinson being battened to the ground. Okay, so basically I'm here today to just say to the family, you cannot give up. You need to be visible. Tomlinson family, you need to be visible. Just take a stand and let's continue to take a stand with them. And like a brother before us said, there's countless other people that have been killed and murdered. Brian Douglas was battened over the head in Clapham. Battened over the head and died in hospital from severe head wound, a crushed star. And the police walked from the court, scot free. Scot free. That was in 1995. And he was looking real smug, right as he yeah, walked past exactly. the family. This Big been, smile Christopher on his Christopher was left to die on the floor of a police custody suite. The whole world panorama aired it. Everybody was outraged. And the sad thing what happens is after a while, it gets forgotten, it gets buried. And this is one of their tactics. Yes. Delay, yes. delay, yes. delay. String it out, yes. long it out. Let everybody get tired, yes. fed up, forget about it, impartial. We just don't care anymore. Yes. Do you know what I mean? But we, we should continue to care, like every single person here. And I hope the police, you police in, in, in uniform today, I hope you're listening to every word that's said because you are in authority. And we're, we're pleading with you to do your job and to expose the criminals within. Don't, don't follow what they're telling you to do. Do what is right, God is our judge, okay? Nothing is hidden that will not be revealed. And what is happening, there's been a pot of blood that has been spilt and it is right overflowing over the top. And that is why the people in this country are rising up. The blood is crying out from the ground of my brother Sean Rigg, of Ian Tomlinson, of Christopher Alder, of Brian Douglas, Leon Patterson. I mean, the names are endless. We will never, ever forget you, okay? And nothing is hidden that will not be revealed, okay? And we are, we are imploring the, DP, the DPP, okay, the Department of Police Protection, and the CPS to, to just come out from the darkness and to just come out with the truth. Stop hiding. We're imploring the government to do national inquiry into all of these deaths. And do you know something? If they'd found this officer guilty of manslaughter, which they should have done, it would have opened up a can of worms for them. I believe this was a very political decision. They know exactly what they're doing. Because you see the other families They've had their loved ones killed and murdered and died from neglect, willful neglect. We would come out and we would say, right, there is a prosecution here. Now open up our case. There are much worse cases than this. My heart goes out for the Tomlinson family. When my family heard and saw what happened to Ian Tomlinson, we were outraged and we had to come out and support them, okay? There's been far worse cases than what we saw happen to Ian Thompson. Behind closed doors, they do worse, worse work. We all know that. 
some of you have lived to tell the tale of pol police brutality. And if you live to tell the tale, you're lucky. Sometimes you get compensation. But if you die, a dead man cannot speak, can he? A dead, but his blood, I'm saying today, is crying out. Their blood is crying out. Okay, so come forward, you police. Go back to your police stations, okay, and expose the darkness that's going on. Do not follow them. If you want to be in authority and you want us to respect you, you need to police us properly. And those in authority over you, they need to give you proper instructions because we're not stupid. We're not blind, okay? And the people will not continue to be policed by a police force that is brutal. It will not happen. So just, I just want to say to everybody, continue. Thompson family, continue. We will stand with you. We will continue to fight for my brother Sean, okay, whose inquest is coming up, and the countless other families. There's going to be a march in October down Downing Street. It's been happening for, what, 15 years? Everybody needs to come out of their house. Forget going to Leicester Square and following these celebrities. They don't care about us. Okay, we've got to look out for each other. Ian Thompson could have been any single one of us. So let's just continue to sit together.